Please. Will you rather send your children to a public or private school? Apakah kamu lebih suka mengirim anak-anakmu ke sekolah umum atau ke sekolah swasta? Ted. Um, I'd rather send them to a public school, I think. Hmm. Saya rasa saya lebih suka mengirim mereka ke sekolah umum. Please. Oh, why? Mengapa? Ted. Well, it's cheaper for one thing. Sekolah umum lebih murah. Please. Yes. But do you think the teachers are as good in the private schools? Benar. Tetapi apakah kamu pikir gurunya sama baiknya dengan guru-guru di sekolah swasta? Ted. Oh ya. Yeah. I went to a public high school and I had very good teachers there. What kind of school did you go to, Liz? Oh, ya. Yeah. Saya dulu sekolah di sekolah umum dan guru-guru di sana sangat bagus. Di mana dulu kamu sekolah, Liz? Liz. Well, I went to a public A primary school and then to a private high school. Dulu saya sekolah di SD negeri dan kemudian di SMU swasta. <coughs> Ted, so which do you think is better? Jadi yang mana menurutmu yang lebih baik? Please, actually I prefer private schools because of the smaller classes. And usually you have a wider choice of subjects. Sebenarnya saya lebih suka sekolah swasta karena kelas-kelasnya lebih kecil dan biasanya kau mempunyai pilihan yang lebih besar. Ted, yeah, I suppose that's true. Yeah, saya rasa benar juga. Liz, and then there are usually better sports. For example. The school I went to had a swimming pool and a huge gym. Dan lagi biasanya ada banyak pilihan olahraga. Contohnya sekolahku dulu memiliki kolam renang yang luas dan gedung olahraga yang sangat besar. Ted, yeah. Well, the public high school I went to had great sports facilities besides uh, besides private schools are really expensive. Ya, namun sekolah negeriku dulu pun memiliki fasilitas olahraga yang sangat besar. Di samping itu sekolah swasta sangat mahal. Liz, ya, yeah. but I think they are worth it. Ya, tetapi itu sebanding. Ted, I don't know. I think you have uh, to judge every school individually, whether it's public or private. Saya tahu, saya rasa kita harusnya menilai tiap-tiap sekolah secara sendiri-sendiri, apakah itu sekolah negeri atau sekolah swasta. Liz, that may be true, but children generally get a better, more well-rounded edu- education, education in a private school. Ya, mungkin saja itu benar, tetapi murid-murid umumnya mendapat pendidikan yang lebih banyak. Dan lebih sempurna di sekolah swasta. Ted, maybe, but I'm not totally convinced. By the way, and were you on the debating team in high school by any chance? Mungkin, tapi saya tidak terlalu yakin. Ngomong-ngomong, apakah kamu dulu masuk tim debat sekolah di SMU? Liz, I sure was. I was the captain. Tentu saja, saya ketua timnya. Man, have you thought about what you want to do after your graduate, Raya? Apakah kamu telah pikirkan apa yang kamu lakukan setelah lulus, Raya? Raya, oh ya, yeah. I think about it all the time. I have been looking for some jobs in the newspaper, but I really need to start interviewing soon. Oh ya, yeah? saya selalu memikirkannya. Saya sedang melihat-lihat kolom lowongan pekerjaan di koran, namun saya benar-benar perlu memulai wawancara segera. Man, you know, 
I have here there are some really good jobs in the government. Those jobs are pretty secure and and you get excellent medical benefit. Tahukah kamu? Saya dengar ada beberapa pekerjaan yang baik di pemerintahan. Pekerjaan-pekerjaan itu cukup layak dan kamu mendapat tunjangan kesehatan yang sangat baik. Rea, ya, yeah, but I'd rather not work for the government. This job seems so boring and the salaries are low. I prefer to find an interesting company to work for where I could work on my own. Ya, yeah, tetapi saya lebih suka tidak bekerja pada pemerintah. Pekerjaannya kelihatan sangat membosankan dan gajinya sangat kecil. Saya lebih suka mencari perusahaan yang menarik di mana saya bisa bekerja untuk di mana saya bisa bekerja untuk diri sendiri. Man. Uhuh. Rea, you know, be creative and really use my skills. Pokoknya bisa kreatif dan menggunakan keterampilan-keterampilan saya. Man. Well, what about something like sales work? You call be independent, kreatif. Bagaimana dengan pekerjaan wirausaha? Kamu bisa mandiri dan kreatif. Rea, well, yeah. I have thought of that. And I really like the idea. I bet I could meet lots of different people and blah 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 blah. Yeah, saya suka sudah memikirkannya. Dan saya suka sekali. Saya yakin saya bisa berjumpa dengan banyak orang dan bla 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 bla. Man, sure, tentu saja. Rea, do some traveling and maybe get out of the office. Melakukan banyak perjalanan dan mungkin dinas uh, di, dinas luar. Man, yeah, sounds like it's right up your alley. I wonder how much money you can make in sales. So, do you have an uh, do you have any idea what starting salaries are like? Kedengarannya cocok sekali denganmu. Namun, kira-kira berapa penghasilan yang bisa kamu dapat dari pekerjaan itu? Apakah kamu tahu kira-kira berapa gaji awalnya? Hmm, um, I don't know. But actually, I think I'd rather be on commission. Um, saya tidak tahu, tapi sebenarnya saya lebih suka digaji berdasarkan komisi. Man, oh, Rhea. So, that why I get paid according to how successful I am. Dengan demikian, saya akan menerima bayaran berdasarkan keberhasilan saya. Man, ah, Rhea. I could make much more money. That way, I think I prefer that to getting a salary. Saya bisa mendapatkan lebih banyak uang dengan cara demikian. Saya rasa saya lebih suka itu daripada mendapat gaji. Man, well, Ria, you uh, you have sold me. I think you have got a great future in sales. Wah, Rhea, kamu benar-benar membuatku kagum. Saya rasa kamu punya masa depan yang gemilang di bidang pramuniaga ini. Woman, is the education system in Britain the same as in the United States, Adam? Apakah sistem pendidikan di Inggris sama dengan di Amerika, Adam? Men. Well, it's fairly similar, but in most of the country, we don't have separate junior and senior high school. We just have secondary school. Ya, agak sama, tapi di banyak daerah kita tidak memisahkan sekolah lanjut menjadi SMP dan SMU. Kita hanya punya sekolah lanjutan. Woman, oh, and how old are children when they enter secondary school? Oh, Dan berapa usia anak-anak saat mereka masuk sekolah lanjutan? Men, well, most kids enter when they are eleven. Then all students continue till they are sixteen. And many 
continue until they are 18. Well, most kids enter when they are 11. Ya, kebanyakan anak-anak masuk saat mereka berusia 11 tahun. Kemudian, mereka melanjutkan sampai usia 16 tahun. Dan banyak lainnya yang melanjutkan sekolah sampai mereka berusia 8 tahun. Woman. Oh, really? They continue till they are 18. And so, students take exam before they graduate. Oh ya? Yeah? Mereka melanjutkan sekolah sampai usia 18. Jadi mereka melaksanakan ujian sebelum mereka lulus. Men. Yes. Many take the GCSE around the age of 15 or 16. Ya. Yeah. Banyak yang melakukan ebtanas di usia sekitar 15 atau 16. Woman. GCSE. What does that mean? GCSE, apa itu maksudnya? Alex. Well, GCSE stands for General Certificate of Secondary Education. Students usually take exam in 5 to 8 subject in order to get the certificate. GCSE singkatan dari Sertifikat Umum Sekolah Lanjutan. Siswa biasanya melakukan ujian untuk 5 sampai 8 mata pelajaran untuk mendapatkan ijazah. Woman. Oh, and what about student who continue in school till they are 18? What exams do they take? Oh, dan bagaimana dengan siswa yang meneruskan sekolah sampai usia 18? Ujian apa yang mereka ambil? Men. They take A levels. The A stands for advanced. Mereka mengambil ujian level A. A sikatan dari advanced atau mahir. Women. I see. And do students have to take a certain number of A levels? Oh, begitu? Dan apakah siswa-siswa itu harus memiliki sejumlah level A? Men, well, it it depends. Students who want to go to university usually need to take three A levels. Although some students take only two. Ya, tergantung. Siswa yang ingin melanjutkan ke universitas biasanya perlu mengambil tiga ujian A level, maupun uh, walaupun beberapa siswa hanya mengambil dua ujian A level. Woman. And what subject do they take the exams in? Lalu mata pelajaran apakah yang perlu mereka ambil? Men. Well, most students specialize and take A levels in related subject, either in science, for example, or in subject in in the arts. Kebanyakan para siswa mengkhususkan dan mengambil ujian level A untuk mata pelajaran yang berhubungan. Sebagai contoh untuk ilmu pengetahuan atau mata pelajaran yang termasuk dalam kesenian. Woman. Hmm. How are the A level credit? Hmm. Bagaimana penilaian untuk level A ini? Men. They are graded by letter. A through E mean pass. And F means fail. Pupils who want to go to university mostly need high marks. Penilainya berdasarkan huruf A sampai E berarti lulus. Dan F berarti tidak lulus. Siswa yang ingin melanjutkan ke perguruan tinggi perlu nilai yang tinggi. Woman. Huh. But what happens if a student doesn't do well the first time? Can student take A level exams? Again and try and improve their grades. Oh, tetapi bagaimana kalau siswa tidak berhasil dalam ujian pertama? Bisakah mereka mengulang kembali ujian itu untuk memperbaiki nilai mereka? Men, absolutely. Look, some take them again and again for years. Tentu saja banyak yang mengulangnya lagi dan lagi sampai bertahun-tahun. Woman, gosh. And by the way, Adam, 
Does Britain have both public and private schools? Ya ampun. Oh ya Adam, apakah Inggris punya sekolah umum dan swasta? Man, yes. Most parents send their children to state schools, which are free. They are similar to public schools in the United States. Ya, kebanyakan para orang tua mengirim anak-anak mereka ke sekolah negeri karena gratis. Sekolah negeri sama dengan sekolah umum di Amerika. Woman. And what about private schools in Britain? Dan bagaimana dengan sekolah privat di Inggris? Man. Well, it's a bit confusing really. Private schools are known as public schools in Britain. For centuries, public schools were the only ones available. Then the government started free education. Ya, ini sedikit membingungkan. Sekolah privat dikenal sebagai sekolah umum di Inggris selama berabad-abad. Hanya sekolah-sekolah umum yang tersedia kemudian pemerintah mulai menyediakan pendidikan gratis. Woman, I see. Oh begitu Man Some public schools are rather expensive And not many parents can afford them The pupils wear uniforms And they often live at school too Beberapa sekolah umum sangat mahal Dan tidak banyak orang tua sanggup membayarnya Para siswanya mengenakan seragam Dan biasanya tinggal di sekolah itu juga Woman Tell me Adam Did you go to school? Public school Coba ceritakan Adam Apakah dulu kamu sekolah di sekolah umum? Man Aha I will let you guess Ah, Coba kamu tebak Man I'm thinking of going to Brazil next year Sonya Saya sedang berpikir untuk pergi ke Brazil tahun depan Sonya Sonya Oh great I'm sure you will Have a good time. Oh hebat, saya yakin kamu akan bersenang-senang. Man, what places do tourists visit in Brazil? Tempat-tempat apa yang biasa dikunjungi turis di Brazil? Sonya, well, a lot of people go to Rio for carnival. And nowadays, lots of people are visiting the Amazon to take river trips. Banyak orang pergi ke Rio untuk melihat karnaval dan banyak lainnya mengunjungi sungai Amazon untuk melakukan pelayaran menyusuri sungai. Man, oh really? That sounds interesting. And when's a good time to visit? Oh ya, kedengarannya menarik sekali dan kapan waktunya yang baik untuk berkunjung? Sonya, well, I like Rio in the spring for all for or fall because it's not too hot then. Saya suka Rio di musim semi atau gugur karena cuacanya tidak terlalu panas saat itu. Man, and what other cities are worth visiting in Brazil? Dan kota-kota apa lainnya yang berharga untuk dikunjungi di Brazil? Sonya, well, I suggest Brasilia first. Saya saran kunjungan pertama ke kota Brasilia. Man, oke. Okay. Ali. Guess what? I just got invited to my teacher's house for dinner. Coba terka. Saya dapat undangan makan malam di rumah guru saya. Benny. Oh, that's nice. Ali. Yeah, but what do you do when you are invited to someone's home here? Benny. Oh, you. Usually bring a small gift. Ali. Really? Like what? Benny. Well. Some flowers or a bottle of bottle of uh, orange. Ali, okay. And is it all right to bring a friend along? Benny, well, if you want to bring someone, you should call first and ask if it's okay. Announcer Announcer Language is taken for granted unless Of course you are trying to learn one 
that isn't your own. Commentator James Fellows has discovered that living in another country can create barriers to communication that are limiting in some ways and liberating in others. Bahasa selalu diabaikan kecuali tentu saja bila Anda sedang berusaha mempelajari bahasa yang bukan bahasa Anda. Seorang komentator kondang James Fellow mendapati bahwasanya hidup di negara lain dapat menciptakan kendala-kendala dalam berkomunikasi yang mengakibatkan keterbatasan di satu pihak namun juga keuntungan di pihak lain. Fellow Right now, you are listening to the radio, but I bet you are doing something else too. Getting dressed, finishing your finishing your breakfast, leaving through the paper, driving to work, that is. You are enjoying the luxury of operating in your own familiar language, which your brain can handle so easily that it has plenty of power left to supervise the other things that you do. Here in Japan, I have been in exile from that comfortable world. If I want to make any sense whatever of the sounds coming out of the radio, the TV speaker or someone else's mouth, I have to concentrate my complete attention on that task. There is no brain power to spare for anything else, including walking or chewing gum. I have become a man who can do exactly one thing at a time. This predicament has its good and bad sides. The bad part is a certain narrowing to put it um, merely of the information flowing into my life. You take, on, you take in information is as if you are drinking from a big beer stain. For me, it's like sucking through a tiny clogged straw. But the good part is the same enforced need to concentrate. I may do only one thing at a time now, but I do that thing very intently. One of the things I have begun doing more seriously is to read books all the way, all the way through. Of course, we all read books in America too, but precisely because of the other distraction, it's often hard to stick with them. Review, excerpt, TV interviews take the place of actual books, but here, With my one-track mind and my exhaustive need to read it into English, there is nothing to keep me from finishing a book once I get started. I have the added plus of spending three or four hours each day on the Tokyo train system, which, when it's not so crowded that I can't raise my arms. Let me go through several books a week. Indeed, thanks to the train, I am the only person on earth actually to have read Paul Kennedy's famous Rise and Fall of the Great Powers book. This whole book environment changes your worldview, making you more deeply but more spotted, spotily informed. I find that I have become more patient with long-winded explanation and less likely to cut somebody else off and make him get to his points. There are problems with his perspective too, I am sure, but right now my brain can handle thinking what they might be. Ami, do you know where I can get a passport? Toto taken around here. Apakah kamu tahu di mana saya bisa membuat foto untuk paspor di sekitar sini? Blanche. Well, I think there is a place on Center Street downtown. Saya rasa toko foto itu ada di jalan Center di kota. Ami. Oh. Do you know any place closer? 
bench. Let me think. Oh, there is a place in the shopping center where you can get one ticket for five dollars. Emmy. Okay, that's great. Thanks. Do you know where I could get a passport photo taken? You could get one taken downtown. Can you tell me where I could have film developed? You can or you could have it developed at Fuji shop. Oh no, it stopped again. Do you know where I can get or have my watch repaired? Sure, you can get it repaired at the, sh at the time shop on 2nd street. My car isn't running right. Can you tell me where I call get it surfaced? Yeah, you can get it surfaced at Shelly's Surface Center downtown. I need some photocopies. Can you tell me where I can get color photocopies made well you call get them made at shows they have a new photocopier that can do that oh the hill just came off my shoe do you know where I call get have it repaired sure you can get it repaired just two blocks down this street there is a shoe repair shop on the corner Sophia I have got a friend coming for the weekend who loves chess where is a good place to take her Blair oh why not take her to the New Orleans club that's a great place to hear live music Clear. Yeah, but it's hard to get in one in on the weekend. I like the back door better because it's not so crowded. Sophia, oh yeah, do they have dancing there? Claire, oh, I don't think so. Where is a good place to hear live music? I like the New Orleans club because they have terrific music. What's the good time to go? Weekdays are best because it's not so crowded then. Chuck. Hi. How was your weekend, Nash? Nash. Oh, it was really nice. Marsha. Did you and Rosa go to that new place downtown? Nash. Oof. oof. We say we went last night. Marsha. So, how was it? Nash. Oh, we really love it. The service was excellent and the food was really delicious, especially the seafood. Chuck. I bet it's pretty. Oof. It look really fancy. Nash. No, no, actually. It was very reasonably priced. I'd certainly go there again. Hey, but how about you, Chuck? What did you do this weekend? Chuck. I am surprised that you have to ask. We went to the same place. We go every, every Saturday. The kids never get tired of going there and actually my wife and I had a good time too. Marsha, bet you spend the whole day there? Saya yakin kalian seharian di sana. Chuck, you bet. The highlight of the day for the kids was talk, taking a ride on an elephant. Tentu saja. Yang paling mengesankan hari itu adalah anak-anak saat anak-anak naik gajah. Yay, Nash. Yikes. Ya ampun. Marsha, wow. Chuck. Yeah, I know. I wouldn't do it, but the kids are fearless. And we watched the lions being fed. To the peanuts, to the monkeys, 
and visited the new bird exhibit. It was nice. It wasn't too crowded. Oh, sounds good. Kedengarannya mengasyikan. Chuck, how about you, Marcia? Did you do anything fun? Marcia, well, I thought it was going to be fun. Nash, oof, what happened? Say, wasn't your sister going to visit you? Marcia, yeah, she came on Friday, and on Saturday we drove to the new place that just opened it at the beach. The room wasn't ready when we got there, and get this, it was eight hours before you called check-in. Nash, that's awful, benar-benar mengerikan. Chuck, you are kidding. Ah, yang benar. Marsha, on top of that, the front desk clerk was really rude. Dan yang paling mengesalkan, Petugas mejanya sangat kasar. Chuck, what did you do while you were waiting for the room? Marsha, well, we went to the coffee shop and spent a fortune for a cup of coffee and sandwich. It was really overpriced. Everything there was expensive and not worth the money. Kami pergi ke warung kopi dan membayar mahal untuk secangkir kopi dan sebuah roti isi benar-benar mahal. Semuanya di sana mahal-mahal dan tidak sesuai dengan harganya. Nash, oh well, was your room nice at least? Marcia, oh oh, it was nice enough, but the noise ruined it. Oh ya, kamarnya cukup menyenangkan, tetapi kebisingan mengganggu suasana. Nash, the noise, Marcia, yeah. Can you believe that there were construction workers outside our window, pounding and hammering at 6 a.m.? Ya, bisakah kau percaya ada pekerja bangunan di luar kamar, mengetok dan memaku pada jam 6 pagi? Chuck, 6 o'clock on Sunday morning? Marsha, yep. At that point, we had had it. We just got up, drove back home. Chuck, and went to bed. Marsha, you got it. Tentu saja. Sheena, can you help me with this history, please? Bisakah kamu membantuku menjawab pertanyaan sejarah ini? Gabby, I will try. What do you need to know, Sheena? Well, first, when did the Berlin Wall start to come down? Pertama-tama, kapan tembok Berlin runtuh? Gabby, oh that's easy to remember. It started coming down in 1989. Oh, itu mudah untuk diingat. Tembok Berlin mulai runtuh di tahun 1989. China, and how long has the United Nation been in existence? Dan sudah berapa lama PBB berdiri? Gabby, hmm, the United Nation has existed since 1945 so it's been around for over 55 years China okay and how many symphonies did Beethoven compose baik dan berapa banyak ciptaan yang dikarang oleh Beethoven Gabby Beethoven composed nine symphonies China and when did jazz first come popular Gabby, yes. Well, I believe it really became popular in the 90s and 20s. Sheena, hmm. Now, just one more. In what century was Napoleon Emperor of French? Hmm, sekarang satu pertanyaan lagi. Pada abad berapa Napoleon menjadi kaisar di Perancis? Gabby, He was emperor of French in the 19th century. Sheena, thanks, Guy. You are great at history. Gabby, I shall be. 
I am a history teacher. When did the Titanic sing? I think it was about 80 or 90 years ago. When the when was the first flight in a jumbo jet? I think it was in 1970. When was John F. Kennedy president of the United States? He was president from 1961 to 1963. When did the Beatles first become popular? The first became popular during the 60s. How long has this statue been a national landmark? This statue has been a national landmark for about 50 years. How long has been how long has he been rich since 1950 since the 20th century from 1987 till now? Host <coughs> Music good evening. This is the late night talk show on radio station KGMZ Z in San Francisco and tonight we have a special guest Stella Greer who has just written a terrific book about James Dean welcome to the show Miss Greer Miss Greer thank you very much I am very to be here terima kasih banyak saya senang dapat hadir di sini host well, tell us a little about James Dean's early life. Baik, coba ceritakan tentang kehidupan awal James Dean. Miss Greer. Alright, he was born in 1931 in Indiana. Host, oh, in Indiana? Miss Greer, yes, his father was an, a dental technician. When James was five, his family moved to Los Angeles, California. Yes. And what about his mother, Miss Greer? Well, unfortunately, his mother died soon after they moved to the to Los Angeles. James later moved to Iowa, where he lived with relatives. Sayangnya, ibunya meninggal segera saat mereka pindah ke Los Angeles. James kemudian pindah ke Iowa, di mana ia tinggal dengan saudaranya. House, I see. And what about his acting career? How did James then get started? Miss Greer, well, after graduating from high school in Iowa, he returned to California where he began acting with some small theater groups. Then he made some TV commercial host. What were some of his earlier roles? Apa peran-peran awal dia, Miss Greer? Oh, he played small parts in films. And then in 1952, he went to New York City where he got some parts in Broadway plays. Oh, ia memainkan beberapa bagian kecil di film. Dan di tahun 1952, ia pergi ke New York, di mana ia main dalam pertunjukan Broadway. Host. Oh, I didn't realize he had worked in the theater. Oh, saya tidak tahu kalau ia pernah bermain di theater, theater. Miss Greer, oh yes, host. And when did James Dean start making his big movies, Miss Greer? Well, just two years later, actually in 1954, he was in East of Eden, his first big movie. Later, he made Rebel Without a Cause, which is probably his best-known movie and a film called giant host oh yes i have seen all of those movies tell me why do you think rebel without a cause was such a popular film oh yeah saya sudah menyaksikan film-film tersebut bisakah anda jelaskan mengapa film 
Rebel Without a Cause bisa menjadi sangat populer. Miss Clear Well, there were several reasons. James Dean was a symbol for American youth. The young people in the 1950s could really identify with him. They could understand him and his feelings. Of course, he is still popular today. Ada beberapa alasan. James Dean adalah simbol dari pemuda Amerika. Orang-orang muda di tahun 1950-an mengidentifikasi diri mereka padanya. Mereka bisa memahaminya dan perasaan-perasaannya. Tentu saja ia masih populer sekarang. Host. He certainly is. Now we all know, of course, that he died very young. Miss Greer. That's right. He was killed in 1955. In a car accident. Hus, so your book doesn't have a happy ending. Miss Greer, I am afraid not. Hus, well, we are just about out of time. Thank you, Miss Greer, for coming on our show. Author, you are welcome. Woman, I have just been reading an interesting article about robots. Did you know that that the typical factory worker in the future will be a robot? Saya baru saja membaca sebuah artikel menarik tentang robot. Apakah kamu tahu kelak para pekerja pabrik akan digantikan oleh robot? Man, really? That's scary. Benarkah? Mengerikan sekali. Woman, yeah. And they will even use robots to make and repair other robots. Dan, ya, yeah, dan mereka akan menggunakan robot untuk memperbaiki robot-robot. Man, that's hard to imagine. And when it is this supposed to happen? Sulit untuk dipercaya. Dan kapan hal ini akan terjadi? Woman, Within 30 years, and robots will also be building factories in outer space and even mining minerals on the moon. Dalam 30 tahun, dan robot-robot itu juga akan membangun pabrik-pabrik di luar angkasa dan bahkan menambang mineral di bulan, man. Hey, maybe by then they will have invented a robot to clean my apartment. Woman, you know the job markets going to be affected by robot. Tahukah kamu kelak lowongan pekerjaan akan terpengaruh oleh robot? Man, that's right. A lot of jobs are going to disappear. Benar, banyak pekerjaan akan hilang. Woman, yeah. A lot of jobs that humans do can be done by robot, like bank tellers and cashier in supermarkets, even movies theater tickets will be sold by robots. Man, and then there is car wash workers, gas station attendants, I don't know, it sound like a lot of people will be out of work, it could cause a lot of problems. Kemudian kelak akan ada pekerja pencuci mobil, petugas pom bensin, entahlah. Kedengarannya akan banyak sekali orang yang akan menganggur. Ini akan menimbulkan banyak masalah. Woman, it sure cold. On the other hand, think of all the free time people will have, especially people who have robots in their homes. Pasti, namun di samping itu, coba pikirkan waktu luang yang dimiliki. Orang-orang, khususnya orang yang memiliki robot di rumahnya. Man, you mean robots will be doing all the cooking and cleaning, all the household chores? Maksudmu robot akan mengerjakan semua pekerjaan rumah tangga, memasak dan membersihkan? Woman, well, not quiet. But they can do things like turn lights on and off. And do the vacuuming and control home security systems. 
Ya tidak persis seperti itu Tetapi mereka bisa melakukan hal-hal seperti menyalakan dan mematikan lampu Membersihkan karpet dengan vakum dan mengontrol sistem keamanan rumah Men, hmm, you know, sometimes I wonder it, it, if it, I, if it will ever really happen Hmm, terkadang saya masih ragu Apakah hal itu benar-benar akan terjadi, woman? Ya, yeah. I know what you mean But people probably used to say the same thing about airplanes, telephones, TV, and videos Ya, yeah, saya paham maksudmu, namun Dulu orang juga merasa seperti itu tentang pesawat terbang, telepon, TV, dan video. Daphne Oh, Abe. Hi. You know, I have been meaning to talk to you. I am planning a trip to Australia, and I wonder if you could give me some advice. Oh, Abe. Hai, saya bermaksud bicara denganmu. Saya berencana pergi ke Australia. Saya berharap kamu bisa memberi beberapa saran. AB, sure. What uh, what do you want to know? Daphne. Well, I thought I had start my trip in Sydney. What should I see there? AB, well, the most important thing to see, of course, is the harbor. Which is the most beautiful in the world? Daphne. Oh, right. Do they have uh, boat trips? Abi. Yeah, of course, they do. They have wonderful boat trips. The one. Blah, blah, blah. The one that I recommend particularly is blah, blah, blah. Is a trip around the harbor in, a, in an old sailing ship. Daphne, oh, that sounds like lots of lots of fun. Abe, yeah, and of course, then there is the Sydney Opera House, which which everyone knows about, and who oh, you can see a uh, wonderful things there, concerts and opera and theater. Daphne, oh, I definitely want to go there. Now, what about places to stay? Can you recommend some places in expensive? Abi. Yeah, let me see. Probably, of course, you know I don't stay in this place, but probably the most inexpensive place will be will be a backpackers hotels. There are lots of those. Daphne. Okay, thanks. That sound good. Uh, where should I go after Sydney? Abe, after Sydney, let's see. I recommend that you travel up the coast to the Great Barrier Reef, which is in North Queensland. Right. I have heard a lot about it, but what is there to do there? But what is there to do there wabe well you can go scuba diving and see the coral reef and the tropical fish up close Daphne you know I don't like to get wet Abe well there there are there are always always this glass bottom boots you can you can travel on they are fabulous yeah and oh there are Uh, literally hundreds of islands you can explore. Daphne, wow. And are there places to stay? Abe, yeah, sure. If you want to spend lots of money, you can stay at one of these fabulous resort hotels or if you want to do it on the cheap, you can, you can go to guest house, which are much cheaper Daphne right that sound good well what next Abi next well I guess you shall you shall go inland to Ayers Rock in Uluru National Park Daphne Ayers Rock what is that how do you spell it it's Ayers Rock It's uh, spelled 
let's see a y e r s it's the largest rock in the world you must know about it Daphne no kidding no I have never hear of it what do you do when you visit it I'll be well it's mainly hiking and trekking you can you can walk right around the base of it if you like it takes about uh, five and a half miles I guess but it's really well worth it and oh there are cave paintings in the rock and the colors of the rocks at sunrise and sunset uh, just fabulous luar biasa sounds like I shall bring my camera you are you sure shall finally let's see I guess you shall travel travel north to visit the Kakadu National Park Kakadu how do you spell that K A K A D U it's it's a tropical forest where you can go hiking and see all sorts of wildlife atau hewan hutan liar Daphne O A B E and there are some beautiful waterfalls there as well and do they allow camping there Abi yeah there are lots and lots of campsites the only thing is that you have got to watch out for the crocodiles hati-hati dengan buaya Daphne oh well Abi thanks a lot you have been a big help Abi no problem Daphne I can I cannot why to go saya tak sabar untuk berangkat friend have you moved to your new apartment yet Fred Fred yes we moved in last Saturday friend so how do you like it Fred oh yes oh it's great there's plenty of room and it's a quiet too friend yeah oh what's the building like does it have a pool Fred no it doesn't have a pool but there is a patio down style and big yard for the kids to play in tidak ada kolam renang tapi ada pasio di bawah dan halaman yang luas untuk anak-anak bermain friend it's so nice Fred it is why don't you come over this weekend and see it ya kenapa kamu tidak datang berkunjung akhir pekan dan melihatnya friend okay I'd like to so Fred tell me about your new neighborhood what is what it like okay boleh juga Fred ceritakan tentang lingkungan barumu bagaimana di sana Fred well the location is really convenient we can walk everywhere to the post office the bank the grocery store friend greet Fred and we are only an a uh, 10 minutes walk from downtown friend hey that's nice but isn't there a lot of traffic Fred no not really oh even thought we are close to downtown our apartment is on a side street so it's quiet there is not much traffic at all tidak banyak kendaraan friend Hmm, that's good, Fred. And besides all those convenience, the neighborhood has another big advantage. Dan selain kenyamanan-kenyamanan itu, lingkungan kami punya keuntungan besar lainnya. Oh, what's that? There is a terrific Chinese restaurant right across the street from our apartment. You know how my wife and I both hate to cook. Had to cook. <laughs> sure do. It has a patio and it has a nice yard too. Besides having a patio, it has a nice yard. 
there is plenty of room as well and it's quiet. In addition to having plenty of room, it's quiet. It also has a big garden. As well as having a big garden, there is a patio. It has a nice patio, but it doesn't have a pool. Although there is no pool, there is a nice patio. There is no balcony, however, there is a few. Even though there is no balcony, there is a few. The city has a good taxis as well, and they are very cheap. There is no airport in the city, however, there is one about 50 miles away. Kelly, agent. Good afternoon, Victoria Home Rentals, may I help you? Kelly, oh yes, hi, my name's Kelly McDonald and I'm looking for a place to rent, agent. All right, are you looking for an apartment or a house? Kelly, a house, agent, okay, and what's your price range? Dan berapa harga yang anda inginkan? Kelly, um, about 800 to 1000 dollars a month. My husband and I need a pretty big place for our family. At least three bedrooms. Agent. Okay. And do you have your own furniture? Kelly. Yes, we do. Agent. Are you interested, interested in a particular part of town? Apakah anda tertarik daerah khusus di kota ini? Kelly. Well, both. Of our children are going to Webster High School, so we had like to find a place, some place near there. Agent, all right. Anything else? Kelly, oh yes, we want a big yard because we have two dogs. Agent, hmm. Let me tell you what uh, I have here. Kelly, okay. Agent. I think I have a place you and your family will like. It's a nice four bedroom house that's unfurnished, but it's about five miles from the high school. Kelly, oh well, that shouldn't be a problem. I'm sure there are school buses. Agent, oh yes, and the house has a large yard, it even has a fence around it, which will be perfect for your dogs. Kelly, wow, it sounds too good to be true, it must be awful expensive, wow, kedengarannya tak mungkin, pasti harganya mahal sekali. Agent, no. The rent is only seven hundred and fifty dollars a month. Kelly, that's wonderful. Itu luar biasa, agent. Would you like to see it? Apakah anda ingin melihatnya? Kelly, definitely. When call we come? Tentu saja. Kapan kami bisa datang? Agent, how about four o'clock this afternoon? We can meet at the house. The address. The address is 572 Bash Road. Bagaimana kalau jam 2 siang ini? Kita bisa berjumpa di sana. Alamatnya adalah Jalan Bash, nomor 572. Manager. Hello, tenant. Hello, Miss Crocker. This is Mr. Roberts. Oh, Mr. Roberts, in apartment 205? No, not 205. 305. Oh, yes. What can I do for you? Is it the refrigerator again? No, it's not the refrigerator. It's oven this time. Tidak, ini bukan masalah lemari es. Sekarang soal kompor oven. Oh well, what's wrong with it? 
Well, I think something's wrong with the temperature control. Everything I try to cook gets burned. Saya rasa ada yang tidak beres dengan pengontrol suhu. Semua yang saya masak hangus. Really? Okay, I will get someone to look at it right away. Benar? Baiklah. Saya akan mengirim seseorang untuk melihatnya segera. Thanks a lot. Oh, by the way, Mr. Roberts, are you sure it's the oven and not your cooking? Knock, 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 knock. Hello, Mr. Smith. I was wondering if you could uh, change the light bulb out from in went out again. Halo, Pak Smith. Saya berharap apakah Anda bisa mengganti lampu di depan? Lampu itu mati lagi. Look, why are you bothering me now? It's still light outside for another five hours. Kenapa Anda mengganggu saya sekarang? Sekarang masih terang sampai lima jam kemudian. Well, I realized, but it was dark last night and I was fumbling with my keys. And and I am heading out now. And ya yeah, saya tahu, tetapi kemarin malam gelap sekali dan saya harus mencari-cari kunci dan saya sedang akan pergi sekarang. Dan Miss, it just rained. It's very wet. It's dangerous to walk with electricity when it's wet outside. Nona. Sekarang baru turun hujan, di luar sangat basah. Berbahaya bekerja di luar dengan listrik dalam keadaan basah. Oh, I I don't want to endanger you. It's just that I will be coming home late tonight and I just want to go. Oh, saya tidak ingin membahayakan Anda. Hanya saja saya akan pulang terlambat malam ini. Dan saya hanya mau... Uh, I would love to help you, miss, but somebody borrowed my ladder. I don't have a ladder. Saya ingin membantu Munona, tetapi seseorang meminjam tangga saya. Saya tidak punya tangga. Well, you know, I have a chair. If you had just give me a light bulb, I wouldn't mind doing it myself, right? Saya punya kursi, kalau saja Anda berikan lampu baru, saya tidak keberatan memasangnya sendiri. Oh, oke, okay, here. Take one of my light bulbs from my lamp. Oh, baiklah. Ini ambillah bolam dari lampu saya. Oh, you don't have to do that. Anda tidak perlu melakukannya. So you know it works. No, please, it's my pleasure. Jadi Anda tahu... Kalau bohlam ini bagus, tidak. Silahkan, saya tidak apa-apa. Oh, thank you. Terima kasih. Kenak, 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 kenak. Uh, excuse me, sir. Mr. Smith? Yeah. I was wondering if you could so- do something about my next door neighbor's dog. It's been barking and and keeping, keeping. Saya berapa... Apakah Anda bisa melakukan sesuatu dengan anjing tetangga sebelah? Ia selalu menggonggong dan membuat Hey, birds fly, fish swim, and dogs bark Dogs? That's nature's way Itulah alam Dogs, yes But they don't have to bark all night This is three nights in a row Anjing, ya yeah. Tetapi mereka tidak perlu menggonggong sepanjang malam. Ini sudah tiga malam berturut-turut. Wait, wait. Have you tried earplugs? Tunggu, tunggu. Apakah Anda sudah mencoba penyumbat telinga? I have tried earplugs. They don't. This dog, I don't know how big it is, but... Saya sudah mencoba penyumbat telinga. Tidak, anjing ini. Saya tidak tahu berapa besarnya. Tapi, have you seen the size of that dog? You want me to go in there? That dog could hurt me. Apakah Anda sudah melihat seberapa besar anjing itu? Anda mau saya datang ke sana, anjing itu bisa membunuh saya. 
Well, I need my sleep. I don't know what to tell you. I mean, saya butuh tidur. Saya tidak tahu bagaimana mengatakannya. Maksud saya. Look, look. I tell you what. I will call him on the phone and ask if he can keep this his dog quiet. Begini, begini. Saya akan coba menelpon orangnya dan memintanya untuk menjaga agar anjingnya tenang. Thank you.